So for today's Tuesday Top Tech Tip, it's a bit of a mouthful, right? We're gonna be installing a voltmeter inside the car. So basically what this does, it just you know shows what voltage your battery's putting out. Um, it's definitely a good thing to have if you guys don't have it. This whole setup here ran about $10, maybe a little bit less off Amazon, link in the description. For 240s, this fits absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you guys how everything works. Let's just get started. All right, so let's just get started with this install, guys. Super, super easy. As you guys can see, it's just two wires, positive and a ground. Super straightforward. You guys already know how to install this. Red goes to positive. This is gonna go to a switched 12 volt source, and obviously your black is going to go to a solid chassis ground. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm gonna put my gauge. Like I said, if you guys have a 240, this is gonna be absolutely mint for you guys. It's gonna fit up absolutely cherry. So uh, yeah, let's just hop in the car, and I'll show you guys how it looks. Man, I just can't get enough of that. God, it looks good. Oh, by the way, turbo blanket, if you guys need one, link in the description. All right, so we're walking in. I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of get mine whole set up. I don't know my phone's on the ground, but it is, oh, and the floor mats, if you guys are interested in these floor mats, super nice. Um, Phase two motor trend hooked it up. Uh, link will be in the description for these as well. Uh, just killing it. So uh, basically for power guys, as you guys can see from last year, I already have mine dangling right there. Now basically that leads up to the cigarette lighter. Now the cigarette lighter is a switch 12 volt source. You guys can tap into your wiring harness. I believe it's the blue wire. The remote wire is the one that you want to tap into. I might be wrong. I, I'm 95% sure it's blue. Um, you guys just have to look up, you know, schematics of your car, figure out what will work for you. Um, anything that when you turn the key to the on position will fire up. So I already have that guy wired in. Like I said, I had this in last year, but I had to rip it out. And I haven't just, you know, haven't got the chance to put it in yet. So we're going to do that today. Basically just hook up the red wire to that and then find a super nice ground somewhere. And we are done now for mounting. With 240s, they normally come with a little button thing right there. I ripped it out. I believe it was for the uh, the rear hatch wiper with the washer. So I took that out, and you're left with a nice open spot. And actually, this is absolutely perfect for that size that the voltmeter gauge is. So let me show you guys how it looks. Not sure how this camera angle is going to work out for you guys, but the handbrake is currently holding the whole camera up. It's working pretty solid. So what I'm going to do is just string all your wiring through here. Um, I have this just, you know, I'm going to put that into a butt connector. I'm going to cut the one that's on there off now. And this is just your solid little ground piece that I'm going to bolt up to the chassis. And uh, string these both through. The tough part is getting the wires out. You know what I'm saying? That's the tricky part. You know, cue the music, you know what I'm saying? Cue the music. Cue the music, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, speed up the whole process here. Just want to quickly mention to you guys that this actual gauge here, as you guys can see, comes with like these little clip-in tabs. Now this is not going to work for the you know spot that I'm putting this gauge in, so basically I just ground them off and uh, kind of made them nice and flat, so basically like, as if they were never there. And uh, this fits super snugly, really nice. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Cram all this down. It's like bunching up. That's why that's why it's hard to the hard part is fishing it out. So basically once this is in there. Oh man, one-handed. This is just They had different color lights. This is red. This lights up red and uh look at that. You know what I'm saying? It almost looks like it was meant to be there. Yeah, it's a little bit long on the bottom, but I mean everywhere else it just fits super nice. And that's basically how it's going to sit, how it's going to mount. It's not going to fall out of there unless you really try and, you know, grab it out yourself or push it through the other side. That right there, for you guys that are wondering, is for my fans. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the fan switch right there. And yeah, so basically now we're just going to hook up the power in the ground, and we're done, guys. Super easy. Really an awesome mod. Um, like I said, 240s don't come with volt gauges, and there's really no need to spend 100 bucks for one, or more, whatever they go for. I don't even know what AEM goes for. They're probably like 150 bucks, which is just stupid. 
for a little volt gauge. This does exactly the same thing. This was nine bucks on Amazon. Like I said, link in the description. They have blue LEDs. This is red LEDs, so it kind of fits my car. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna wire it up, and we are gonna be done for this video, guys. So we got our power hooked up and then we went ahead and I just tapped into this ground right here. And then for our ground, I just tapped into a ground that was already there for probably one of my gauges. Um, instead of kind of figuring out another place to put it, I just decided to tap it right in. As you guys saw, or at least I don't know if you guys were able to see it all, but I just spread apart the wire that was right there, that red one, spread it in half and then um, basically just kind of like I said, just tapped in there and uh, wrapped that around. I'm gonna go ahead and tape all this up. We don't need to solder it just because it's inside the car, nice dry setting. So once you have your, you know, two wires installed, you go ahead and, you know, hop up and turn the key, which is what we're gonna do now just to make sure everything works. So we've got our gauge, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key once. Bam, there you go, 12.3 volts. And then bam, there you have it. You guys are nice and have a nice clean install. Basically now you guys can go ahead and just clean up your wiring, uh, wrap everything up there, and you guys are done. So yeah, that's a, like I said, super easy install. Nice to know what exact voltage you guys are running to make sure your alternator is working good, your battery is properly functioning, all that cool stuff. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to clean up, put everything in, you know, back together, and call it a day. Now, in my first Tuesday Tech Tip video where I showed you how to adjust your clutch pedal, I got a super great feedback from you guys, so thank you so much for that. Really cool to know that you guys were enjoying these kind of short but like helpful, I guess. I don't know, let me know if you guys are, you know, if this helped any of you guys. Super easy install, but I just kind of figured just to show you guys what this whole product looks like fit in the car. And uh, yeah, whatever. And they had the measurements on their website, on the page, to exactly, you know, how big, how wide, just so you guys know exactly what you have. And you guys can go from there. But if you guys enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to stay tuned for, you know, future, future videos, future builds. Um, you know, I guess update on this thing with the dyno stuff. I honestly haven't heard back from my tuner in the past like week, so I don't know what's going on. And not many people around here tune this tune, so I'm gonna kind of see what I can do just to see if I can get in touch back with him or see what the whole deal is. I don't know why he's not replying back to me. He's probably like, oh, I don't want. But yeah, I mean, she's running absolutely great. Exhaust leak is gone. For those of you that are wondering or have been following up with the other videos, exhaust leak is gone, which is nice. It was just actually surprisingly, it was just a, a loose uh, stud. One of the studs was loose, just right next to the one that was missing. So I still have to figure out. I'm probably what I'm gonna do for the one that's you know that yanked out of there. I'm probably gonna just get a bigger size stud, like a, a 12 millimeter or you know, yeah, 12 whatever instead of the 10 millimeter bolt. So uh, that's gonna be probably that. I'll have to you know source one out and you know just get going with that because of course we want to get that sorted out. But uh, yeah, I think we are gonna cut it out, guys. And um, if you guys have any you know video ideas, like I said, if you guys if you guys want certain topics to be spoke about, if you guys want me to talk about you know the build, you know whatever. Let me know. I'm waiting on a mic for my GoPro, so hopefully that will be here shortly. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about the build, uh, just drop it down in the comments below. I uh, would love to hear from you guys. But uh, yeah, I just got out of work, you know, about an hour ago. It's super hot out. I'm just super sweaty. Ready to have a drink and calm down and relax a little bit. But uh, yeah, things have been great. Hope you guys think, you know, hope things have been good with you guys. Um, yeah, I'm just loving this car a lot, uh, even though we're on 10 pounds right now. It's about like 300 to the wheels, um, give or take, probably, maybe a little bit, like 280, give or, uh, somewhere around there, I don't know. 10 pounds, 300-ish. So yeah, super fun car, I've been loving it. The fact that I built it, you know, just adds to the whole excitement. People love it, the attention this thing gets is just super sweet, and uh, it's almost like a sleeper, like it doesn't draw bad attention, which is nice. Um, but also, if you guys want to just see like a sounds of a sky, I don't know, sounds of a, sounds cheesy, right? It sounds super cheesy, but if you guys want to hear just like a driving video and, and a little bit more throttle and stuff like that, I can mess around with stuff. Like I said, I don't really have like a proper, proper mic for my GoPro. I'll have one for this. It's not that great. I really need an upgrade for camera stuff, but uh, it's, all, it's expensive. So we'll get there uh, in time and I uh, hope you guys are just super, you know, hope you guys... And I hope you guys are just loving the content. 
really hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm kind of, you know, tight for time with work and stuff like that, but, you know, like I said, let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll do my best to create that for you, and, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So, as always, just want to say thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the support. You guys are just absolutely epic. The likes, the comments. I mean, we've already got, like, over a thousand likes on a few videos, and that was, like, a, that was, like, a unknown territory before. So, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. I've been rambling. It's been a while since I made a video, so just wanted to catch up with you guys. Like I said, hope you guys are all well, but as always, voltmeter, perfect, and uh, we're just we're just loving it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to this. I'm probably, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to chill. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.